everybody welcome back to another grocery haul so i know in my last video i said i was gonna go in and shop i am sweaty i just did all the grocery stuff uh because cruz is at a men's meeting this morning for church but i was gonna go grocery shopping last night but it didn't happen that way so i just made a, a heb grocery curbside pickup we got a lot of groceries for a heavy price but we needed them and we're just trying to not eat out as much. And I just wanted uh, a whole bunch of more fresh fruits and vegetables in the house. So let's get started. Y'all might hear CJ, he's laying down for a nap, but let's get started on the produce. So I got a five pound bag of russet potatoes, two regular tomatoes, and then some cherry tomatoes, a head of lettuce, avocados, two cucumbers. Now on the website, I saw plantains, but I never saw regular size bananas. So I, I had to get up the minis, which I'm not too impressed with, cause y'all look, that's two bites. I mean, it's perfect for CJ, but that's two bites for me and Cruz. But we'll see, they're super cute still. Um, a big bag of celery, and what I'll probably do, cause on the menu this week, I have some chicken and dumplings with yeast rolls, and I need celery for that. What I'll probably do is just chop it up all together and put some in the freezer and wait until Thanksgiving to use it because there's no way I'm gonna eat all this or we're not gonna be able to eat all this in time. So I don't want it to go bad and I don't wanna waste. So you can pre-chop your vegetables and freeze them. I got a big bag of onions. It was cheaper this way to buy the three pound bag than get several of the just individuals. A big old pineapple, oh my gosh. So I got a pineapple, a personal sized watermelon. I hope this one is still sweet. A cantaloupe, there is this dent in it, but I bet that's a soft spot. So we'll have to see about that guy. Strawberries, now they didn't give me the best of strawberries and it's probably already leaking. And um, so I'm gonna have to pick out the bad ones and go ahead and get those washed up and, and prepped. And then four peaches. Now, growing up, my mom didn't really buy fresh peaches. We always had like canned peaches or peaches in like the little cups, serving cups growing up. But um, CJ used to eat them a little bit when he was a baby. So I'm excited to cut these up for him for breakfast, lunches, or even if we wanna make a little bit of, um, maybe like a small, small peach cobbler for me and Cruz and the baby to eat. So these are definitely gonna get used either way. Everything is everywhere, so y'all bear with me. So I got two five pound bags of flour. It is holiday season and I use flour nonstop. And I left it in the bag because they were kind of leaking. I got two cornbreads, one for us, one for meal prep. I do have my, um, last time at Walmart, I bought coconut coffee, like coconut flavored coffee. And I do like that. And I love that with the iced coffee, but I don't want it every day. So I did have to pick up just some regular Folgers. Haven't had Folgers in a long time. Back here, I got a Dr. B, which is Dr. Pepper, and a lemon lime twist which is a sprite spinoff huh get it twist spin <laughs> um but i needed these for we have trunk or treat for our church at the end of the month and i need these to craft with so my husband would be very excited a big thing of vegetable oil which this was a substitution i think i got like a cheaper bottle and they substitute it for that Friday nights in our house is movie night now. So whoop whoop, y'all leave some movie recommendations down below. So I wanted to stock up on popcorn. And then speaking of movie nights, I got this little box of theater style chocolates for poppies. This is his favorite candy right now. Also my husband's, so they're gonna share that. I got some slow cooker liners. Now I don't normally buy these because I can just wash my crock pot. But as the holidays get here and we have a lot more people over, I just want something quicker to clean up so I can get back to having fellowship or community with people who are in our home. So this will make life a breeze this upcoming holiday. And then we were running out of sponges. I think I have one more, so I don't ever like to just not have any. And then some parchment paper. I had to move that to the sink. Then some parchment paper. I use this like almost every day. So for pantry, we have lots of stuff. Y'all bear with me. I got some garlic powder. It's like I run, I need to just go to Sam's and buy the big things. Now these were two for, oh, look at me messing up. The garlics were two for something. I thought it was the onion powder. And then um, I needed some more onion powder as well. 
I got rosemary. I wanted to try my crusty Dutch oven bread with rosemary and garlic in it. I think it would be super tasty, so I got that. And then if you, what did you, what did we buy? And we got this. No, I think we bought this and we got onions for free. I don't know, it was something like that. So I read out what we could get and Cruz chose the blackened seasoning. Like he was, I called him while he was at work yesterday and I was putting all this in and I was like, hey, we can choose a seasoning. What do you want? They held, they had all different kinds, but he chose the blackening. Um, we have never tried this. I'm super excited. We normally get the McCormick brand of brown gravy, but this is the Creole brown gravy, uh, Tony Sachery's, and I'm super excited to try that. Hopefully it's not like spicy or anything. I actually have four cans of this green enchilada sauce. That will also be for meal prep and one for our family. Two cans of peas, tomato paste, and then we got some Hunt's pasta sauce, tomato basil. Should not have put all these back here. I got a big can of maple bacon baked beans. I have two cans of Texas style chilies, no beans. We were a no bean family in our chili. I really don't like it myself. I like beans, but I don't like it in my chili. And I got a big uh, can of the caldo de tomate. Um, but it's just tomato bouillon with chicken flavor. So this stuff is amazing. This is what I make my Mexican rice out of. And I, I throw it in other dishes if I want it to either have like a red tint. Like if I make chicken tinga, I put this in there with other seasonings and spices. And I got a big jar this time because like I said, it's kind of open. Like I said, holidays are coming. So might as well try to start stocking up this month before November hits. And then, y'all, throughout this haul, you're going to see I made some mistakes. I did not read ounces. So, this is supposed to be a regular can of green beans. But now it's going to take, like, almost four if we have a lot of people over. So, um, we got cut green beans. I think I got one, two. I think I got three of those. So, those are almost going to be used up right away. I got some buttermilk complete pancake and waffle mix. I got some Easy Melt Chels, Chels, and, Ch Chels, Chels and Cheese. Um, now, my husband does like Velveeta, but at our HEB, it was kind of pricey. So, I went with this. Hopefully, he doesn't see the box and I can trick him. But I'm pretty sure he's going to find out. I'm pretty sure. I got a little bit of olive oil. I think this was also a substitution. I got a different kind. And they substitute it with their Hill Country Fair brand. Got some hot dog buns. We have hot dogs on the menu one day this week. And then we also have uh, we have something else. <laughs> when I get to it, I'll probably remember. I got some cranberries for baking or for snacking. Or my son loves this on top of his yogurt. This is another thing. I did not read the ounces. I said, oh, that's a great price. Yeah, for a small bag. So these are for my husband. Y'all, I am in love with these. These are so good. So I bought just a big bag of the Cheez-It Snaps. Oh yeah, we're going to be having Frito Pie. So I got some um, Texas Corn Chips, the H-E-B brand, and then some yellow corn strips, tortilla chips. I got a bag of pinto beans and a five pound bag of white long grain rice. A big thing of tortillas, we go through these like crazy... Um, just all kinds of recipes. We got enchiladas on the menu. And then this came free when you... I can't remember, but this... I think this was free. So we got a 100% whole wheat bread loaf for free. Getting into the cold things. I just bought stick butter this time. I have my um, butter saver. I'll have to pull that down. Two things of cream cheese. Uh, 90 calorie crescent rolls, reduced fat. I want to try that, um, like that breakfast casserole type thing. That's like a uh, crescent dough, cream cheese and sausage, and then another crescent dough. I got for cheeses this week. I got mild cheddar. We got Oaxaca. And then we got low moisture part skim mozzarella. I got a pie crust. I have quite a few apples left over there and I want to make an apple pie. Got a dozen of eggs. 
So this is a mommy treat. I love guacamole. So probably after we finish up here, I'm going to eat a little bit of this with some tortilla chips. So I got the woolly guacamole. This stuff is so good. Got some light sour cream. Pepperonis. We've been flying through these. I snack on these. Now my son doesn't really snack on these. Neither does my husband. But they love some pepperoni pizza. It doesn't make sense to me. I guess because it's cooked. But these go fast in our house. Some classic Frank's Bar S. Look, I know these are the cheap brand. And it's not just because they're cheap. Like we actually like these. We both grew up on these. They're cheaper. Beef hot dogs are not really our thing. I don't think we like the taste to it. And then we got some turkey bacon. We got just a thing of pork chops. We still have a lot of chicken in the freezer and our ribs. I don't know when we're going to cook those up, but probably for some holidays. And then I got two things of ground turkey. One is for meal prep. One is going to go into the freezer. And this is our hot and spicy sausage for our bake. And then we got some uh, broccoli mix. And then this, I did not read the ounces on either. I thought they were going to be smaller bags. That's why I got two. But that's okay. I love to be stocked up. I got two things of mixed vegetables. I got some pizza rolls. Um, what kinds are these? Just the combination. CJ loves pizza rolls. And it's a quick, easy lunch. Now, um, most of this is going to be for meal prep. But since it's a huge, huge bag, um, we'll also have some, so that would be great for lunches as well. But we got cheese ravioli, and when you bought the cheese ravioli, you got this bread for free. This is the country loaf, and it bakes in 20 minutes. It kind of reminds me of, what's that restaurant? Like Outback's bread, but white. <laughs> and it also reminds me of my Dutch oven crusty bread too. But that is everything. I'm going to get all these groceries put away and go snack on some guacamole and some tortilla chips. But guys, make sure to like, comment, and give us a big thumbs up. Make sure to follow us into the week as I video and show recipes and meal ideas and just inspiration and see how we use up all of our groceries. We try not to waste in this family to the best of our ability and to use up everything that we are blessed with. Well, you guys have a great day. Bye!